I'm Anil Kumar. Let's try to find equation of circle from two points. We'll also learn concept of parameters in this particular exercise. The question is, find equation for all circles going through 1, 1 and 4 minus 2. So it's important to note that the question says, find equation of all circles. That means there is a family of circles which can go through two points, right? So we need to find equation of the whole family. Now in general, equation of a circle can be given as x square plus y square plus dx plus ey plus f equals to 0. As you can see, there are three unknowns, D, E, F. So we need three equations. From two points, we get only two equations, right? So if I substitute 1, 1, let's say if I substitute the point 1, 1, in that case, we get 1, 1 squared is 1, plus 1, plus X being 1 will give us D. Here we get E plus F equals to 0 or we could write this as 2 plus d plus e plus f equals to 0. So that becomes one of our equations. Let's call this as our equation number 1. Now let us use the other point which is 4 minus 2. 4 is the x value, y value is minus 2. 4 square being 16. So let me rewrite this in a different thing. So we get 16 plus minus 2 squared is 4. 4 times d, that is 4d, minus 2e plus f equals to 0. Combining these two terms, we get 20 plus 4d minus 2e plus f equals to 0. So let us call this as our equation number 2. Now from here, if I do equation 2 minus equation 1, right, so we get 18, 4d minus d is 3d, minus 2e minus e is minus 3e, f minus f is 0, so we get equals to 0. Dividing by 3, I could write this as 6 plus d minus e equals to 0. So we get an equation which relates E and D, right? So from here, I can write E as equal to 6 plus D, correct? So I got one parameter in terms of the other, E as 6 plus D. So let me highlight this equation. So we got one equation here in terms of D. Now what we can do is that we can also find what f is in terms of d, right? So we'll take this equation here, equation number 1, and further work on this. So from equation 1, we can write f is equal to minus 2, minus d minus e. Now let's call this as our equation number 3. Substituting e as 6 plus d in this equation, we get f equals to minus 2 minus d minus e is 6 plus d. So we substitute 3, right? So sub substitute 3, the value of e, right? which is 6 plus d. So that gives you f is equal to minus 2 minus 6 is minus 8 minus d plus d this is minus 2d. So that is what you get the value of f. Right? So minus 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 2d. Now if I 
substitute these two values in this equation, I get one equation which has d in it as a parameter. Do you see that? So if I substitute e as 6 plus d and f as minus 8 minus 2d, what do I get? So in our main equation, we get x square plus y square plus dx. Now instead of e, we could write 6 plus d. So we get 6 plus d y. And instead of f, we could write minus 8 minus 2d equals to 0. So this particular equation which we have now is the equation of a circle in terms of d. So d is called the parameter, right? So in terms of d, that becomes the equation. d could have any value. For example, if I substitute d equals to 2, in that case, what happens? So if I substitute d equals to 2, in that case, we get x square plus y square plus 2x. 2 plus 6 is 8, we get 8y. And if I write 2 here, we get minus 12 equals to 0. So that becomes the equation for d equals to 2. Do you see that? So, so we could actually get different equations by using different values of d. Similarly, you could actually substitute any other value of d and get third equation. Now, if you write equation in this way, we say we have used the parameter d to represent a family of circles which will go through the point 1, 1 and 4, minus 2. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.